Good morning, scholars of room 502. It is time for Benchmark. And uh, page 18. Remember, if you do not have this text for close reading, different points of view, have your parents shoot me off a text and I'll try to get one out to you, okay? Sent by mail. Okay, understanding different points of view. Remember, our essential question is, what do we learn when we look at the world through the eyes of others? That was our essential question. We're still focusing on that. Uh, this is a third-person narrative. Remember our story, um, i got to make sure I get it all right. It's kind of a long title. Quiet, an excerpt from Lad and Dog, a classic story of a courageous collie. And now I know why it's called Quiet. Do you remember why? We'll find out again. So we're going to start reading from page 18. And remember, we're looking for key events so that we can write a fantastic summary. All right, let's go ahead and start right here. Remember, um, Lad was really proud of himself on Friday because he saved his mistress. And uh, it said, I like how it went, um, matters soon quieted down and the incident seemed to end. But then it says, instead, it had just begun. Kind of drama. Dun, dun, dun. So, for within an hour... My mistress, who for days had been half sick with a cold, was stricken with a chill, and by night she was in the first stages of pneumonia. Oh, well, that's a key event, so we're going to write that down. The mistress gets, this is a long word, pneumonia. P-N-E-U-M-O-N-I-A. So the mistress gets pneumonia. That is a major event, right? Um, and we'll come over here. Then over uh, the place descended gloom. A gloom lad could not understand until he went upstairs at dinner time to escort the mistress, as usual, to the dining room. But to his light scratch at her door, there was no reply. He scratched again. And presently, Master came out of the room and ordered him downstairs again. That must have been very strange for Lad, because he kind of had the run of the house, didn't he? And he's being told what to do. Then from the Master's voice and look, Lad understood that something was terribly amiss. Also, she did not appear at dinner, and as, and as he was for the first time in his life forbidden to go into her room, he knew the mistress was the victim of whatever mishap had befallen. A strange man with a black bag came over to the house early in the evening, and he and the master were closeted for an interminable time in the mistress's room. Lad had crept dejectedly upstairs behind them and sought to crowd into the room at their heels. The master ordered him back and shut the door in his face. Lad lay down on the threshold, his nose to the crack at the bottom of the door, and waited. He heard the murmur of speech. Once he caught the mistress's voice, it was changed and muffled and with a puzzling new note in it, but undeniably the mistress's, and his tail thumped hopefully on the hall floor, but no one came to let him in, and after the mandate to keep a out, he dared not scratch for admittance. Those other dogs of yours outside there, the doctor said to his master as they went down. Wait, hold on, hold on, Mr. Leggett. Uh, Princess Yvonne, what is it do you want right now? You usually like show up at math time, never benchmark. I, I was wondering, I think it would be nice if I played the role of the doctor. Well, okay, you can play the role of the doctor. Thank you so much, Mr. Leggett. But you know, Math Mutt's probably going to want roles after this. It's okay, I'm not telling him. Yeah, but he'll probably see the video. All right, go for it. Those other dogs of yours outside there, the doctor said to the master as they went down the stairs, raised a fearful racket when my car came down the drive just now. Better send them all away somewhere till she is better. The house must be kept perfectly quiet. Well, that was very nicely done. I don't know if the doctor actually sounded like that, but I like your performance. So this is another key. Event. Yeah, it is. And we're going to write that down. May I help? You may. You're so polite. I am. The doctor visits and recommends. Recommends. 
Oh, Mr. Leggett, there's only one C. Recommends. Slow down, you're writing sloppy. Okay. That all the dogs be sent away so the house will be quiet. And that is the title of this excerpt, he's quiet, no? Yes, it is the title of this excerpt, and I think that's why it's called um, Quiet, because we're going to see what happens when the master you know, gets this advice from the doctor to send um, uh, the dogs away. Oh, can I play the role of the master? Well, Math Mutt, okay, I knew this was going to happen. Okay, so the doctor says, the house must be kept absolutely quiet. And then the master says, I'll send them over to the boarding kennels in the morning, he answered. All except Lad. He and I are going to see this through together. He'll be quiet if I tell them to. Well, you did a fine job of being the master, Matt Mutt. Normally you always show up at math time too. Yes, I know, but this story was so exciting. I like how the dog saved his mistress. Yeah, that was an exciting part of the story. That was a key event. Yes, and I think this is a key event as well, that the, the master will keep the, the lad at the house because he'll be quiet when he's told to. Can you be quiet when you're told to? No, I just keep talking and talking and talking. Well, I need to finish the vid video, so would you please be quiet now? Okay, but I'll come back um, for math on, on tomorrow. Okay, math, math. Arr! Alrighty, so the master says Lad can stay because he will be quiet if asked. So Got this all down. We're going to write a really killer summary. By killer, I mean excellent. And um, we're going to do that tomorrow. And we'll wrap up lesson five. Okay, I really enjoyed this story. And uh, I'm kind of understanding um, more about Lad from his point of view. Um, and the third person uh, narrator telling us how Lad feels. All right, make sure you check science. Do your uh, IXL or Zern. And make sure you get on to Imagine Learning for a spell. And hopefully I'll see you real soon.